Hi guys, we are trying to prepare my first entry for the State Fair 2020 jury show. Um, we just got done with our frame. I will show you how I varnish my painting and then we add the wire on the back, the wire hanger. So we have a great frame. It's like a floating frame. My husband made it for me. It's really nice. I will be using this Liquitex Professional Gloss Medium Hand Varnish. And I'm using the Filbert brush. I think this is 10. I can't really see it anymore. There's so many paints in my brush. You can lay down your painting if you want to varnish your painting. But I'll just do this this way so you can see how I varnish it. So you might see some bubbles in there because my brush was in water container I forgot to take it out so I just wipe it so there's still some a little bit water in there but it's okay so I'm brushing it horizontal for now then we can brush it vertical so it's okay to brush your painting when it's laying down it's better when it's laying down but, um, this will work as well. This is my second coat. I already varnished it the other day. And this is my second coat for this one. You can also use a varnish, a spray varnish. It's also available if you like to use those. I like to use this better. Um, for some reason, my painting really looks well on this varnish. The color really pops nicely. So now we're doing the vertical motion. You just make sure the the brush strokes are not there. We don't want the brush strokes. Just make sure that you get all those brush strokes away. And on the side, if you touch it, sometimes there's a big in there so that's fine as well just brush it brush it out so your motion is will be horizontal vertical if you still see the brush stroke but just make sure you don't have those brush strokes Try to kind of like check it out because sometimes you don't really see the strokes of your brushes. So you can like try to see in a different angles. And you can also varnish the sides if you like. Sometimes I do varnish the sides. So that's it for now. All right, the second coat is dry and it looks fine. It looks okay to me. So I don't wanna add another layer of 
coat of varnish so next steps we're gonna do is going to add the wire in the back so I'm going to be using the number 8 coated wire to the back of our frame I will use one pencil from the top or you can do one fourth from the top so I'll do it here and this one here and since it is so heavy I will use the d-ring with the two holes double hole you can buy it in amazon so I just screw it so we are just going to screw it here and add another screw on the top all right we'll do the second one Just twist it. The more loop the better and then just kind of like estimate how much do you need to cut for the last part so I'm cutting it that much to loop in this section so I'm just looping it just the more the loop the better so it's good so our frame is ready it's pretty sturdy and that's it so our painting is ready for hi guys thank you so much for joining me today I appreciate your time uh, I hope this video helps you on how to varnish and add white hunger in your painting. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also check out my other videos. There's a lot of how to do in there. Maybe you can get something out of it. Um, you can follow me on Facebook, JJ Burton, or my Instagram. And if you have comment, please comment down below. And I hope to see you again in my future videos. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.